Hello Scorpio, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all feeling amazing. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. And for those that are returning back to this channel, thank you so much. Welcome back, much appreciated. Scorpio, I want to honor your time. So let's get straight into it, shall we? Let's jump straight in. Head first, as I always say, I'll clear the deck. And now I want to talk about something very specific here, Scorpio. And it is about, well, a specific person that you have in mind, perhaps still in your heart space. This could be someone that you are romantically linked with or were romantically linked with. This could be a friend, could be a family member, could be a co-worker. It's going to be very specific. So if you've been curious about, well, what is their next move? Let's see, will they even make a move? And if they do, well, what is that next move? And what are their intentions? toward you when they do make that next move so let's get straight into it let's not waste any more time scorpio and let's do this scorpio please and their person spirit team everything and anything that scorpio should know for their highest good and always for their absolute highest good please one more so i keep hearing I want to talk now this could be what they're thinking or they could actually physically say it to you in the next coming weeks but um, I want to see if the cards actually support that they could actually even be think like I'm actually hearing it more as in a thought but we'll see obviously it's a thought because I'm here <laughs> I'm thinking it but I know it's not mine I want to talk we need to talk three more two more last one also this could also be someone that you're admiring from far away. So I usually find out pretty early what your connection is with this person. But here we go. Bottom of the deck, what do we have for you, Scorpio? The overall energy that's unseen, that's simmering to the point that it wants to be on top of the deck. What do we have? Wow. Okay. Really nice card. The Six of Wands, Leo energy. There you are standing really, really proud because you deserve some form of what? personal success you know for me when i see this card it's like the minor account of the chariot it's like you're on your way to something very successful but it's personal with you and this certainly did not happen overnight there were mountains there were challenges there were holes that you had to go through there were setbacks you know two steps forward ten steps back but there's going to be something very successful here between you and your person wow and it's on its way and once it happens it stays let's see there you go a passionate brand new beginning i would say hey this is you know someone new but the whole topic here the intention is someone specific you want to know you know are they even going to reach out and what intentions do they have we've got a successful passionate new beginning here one that really just gives you those butterflies in your stomach suddenly you feel like an extrovert you can take on the world and you're excited here Ooh, okay all right Look at that. We've got progressive energy. So we move from the ace to the two. Look at all these ones. That for me indicates a lot of passion here as well. <laughs> mm, look at that. So the two of wands, the gate is open. Very important to also understand the imagery that the illustrator has done for each single um, different deck. The gates are open. That is you literally and you and your person. This is mutual and it's more Aries energy. It's stepping into the unknown now. It's like we know this is going to be successful. We want it to be. We don't know what's going to happen along the way, but we're still going to go and we're going to walk through. This is really beautiful and it means so many different things. I mean, for a lot of you, this definitely could also pertain that um, if you are single, which it's not really a singles reading, but I'm just saying as a side note, a lot of you could be meeting someone at work or at a new job. Perhaps you work with this person. Oh, wow. There's a lot of harmony around this. Aha, uh -huh. so this is where it gets interesting. Now we've got temperance, Sagittarius energy. This is a beautiful card of balance, of taking your time. There's no need to rush. Peace, balance, harmony. It's a complete opposite of the devil as well, where it's saying, now that you've got it, now that this person is back into your life, and I'm saying back into your life because of that four of cups, cancer energy. Take all the time you need, all in moderation, one day at a time. And I said, the reason why I was like, eh, we come back into your life because we've got the Four of Cups. Now, this is already showing to me that perhaps both of you are feeling quite melancholic here. It's suddenly, it's like life seems a bit mundane. The routines are really getting to the both of you here. You could be mirroring each other in terms of, we're just feeling very flat, very tired here as well. And just melancholic. Like I said, we think about each other, the past, what should have been, what could have been. 
what was and you know never progressed is making you quite sad here i think your person though is holding on to hope and faith though gonna take action we have the emperor aries energy again it's the divine masculine all the kings wrapped up into one so this is someone that's gonna step up here i think they just miss you too much mm, okay no wonder i keep hearing i want to talk we need to talk but it's more like they keep ruminating they keep thinking of that but um, and i kept thinking are they gonna do something yes they will it's the emperor wow like talk about being obsessed with you yeah Ooh, they're really obsessed to get their message across. The Page of Cups is also budding romance messages um, and also um, could be an apology. The first card that we got in your main reading was the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. The Hierophant, Taurus Energy. So there were, I can see there were some issues here about commitment or marriage. Maybe your person actually was committed or married to someone else. We've got the King of Cups. There you are. That's you. Regardless of gender, this is Scorpio Energy. Oh, okay. Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. You may actually have worked with this person or were introduced to them. I like this card. This is about being, you know, meeting in the middle, you know, being uh, seeing eye to eye, collaborating, working together. The beating heart of the reading is you. The death card, a Scorpio energy. We've got some form of transformation happening here. What else do we have is the Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. Remember, your person can be any star sign. They do not have to be the ones listed. Um, but I will say them as we go along. Oh, I think here there's a lot of regret here on both of your ends on how things um, ended. Five of Pentacles. This is your hopes and fears. Mm, Taurus energy. I think you, you don't want to feel abandoned. You don't want this person to walk away again. In the near future, we have the Six of Swords. Aquarius energy. In the outcome... We have the Four of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy, Spirits have said get one more. And we have the Knight of Cups, there we go, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer Energy. So we are seeing a reconciliation. I'm, I am already hearing multiple apologies here as well. Um, and we've got some beautiful romantic changes. So I'm already inclined to say here that your person was not exactly free. The reason why I say that here um, is only because sometimes the King and the Queen, more often than not, are already committed. Um, you know, they've already got... They're probably married, you know, they've got their children, their home, they've got their own traditions here as well. For some of you, this definitely also couldn't have been a boss or someone that you work with. If there was no third party, I can already see here that uh, this was a very committed relationship or you were already married to this person. So I'm already seeing that that's a hot topic of commitment and marriage. So because I am trying to read for the collective watching this, that's the hot topic here of commitment, marriage, being here long term. And of course, it suddenly ended. But there you are. You may have actually decided to end this or if your person ended this, it really affected you. Although I am inclined to think here that for the majority of you, it was your person that ended this and it was out of fear because there definitely couldn't have been a third party involved. Mm. I can see that you really still have very strong feelings for this person. You're just holding back. You're keeping your cup safe with you. What I like is that there will be a meeting, there will be communication. That three of pentacles is all about face-to-face -face communications. Let's, you know what, let's plan. How can we make this work long-term? It's being on the same page, it's collaborating, it's being Team Scorpio and you being on their team. It's about working with each other, not against each other, despite what's been going on here in the past. That's really interesting. What I love about the death card, I actually like seeing the death card in spreads because this is the only card where we have death and rebirth in the same energy, in the same card. We've got a huge transformation, a transition here, which leads to that rebirth here for you. Mm, interesting. But look at this. Very. Um, I, I almost feel that if you're, when your person kind of like ended this or you both went your separate ways, it was like immediately, what have I done? Why did I do this to Scorpio? And Scorpio, listen, if you actually ended this, I felt like you almost had no choice. Even if they reached out and you never responded, yes, it hurts you because like, am I making the right decision? Well, they put you in a third party because I am seeing that there, something here led to the ending of this relationship. There was a, definitely that hot topic of being committed or married to someone else here, which led to that ending and you had no choice but to move on. So the beauty of this spread is that we can read this from all different lines now, right? But I'm seeing here your person is um, feeling super duper guilty this is like a guilty conscience of guilt seeks punishment because they abandoned you. 
They gave you the cold shoulder. They made just, they, suddenly it's like, I, I don't care about you. But they always did though, which led to you to move on. Interesting. What I really like is that your person wants to move on with you. But what do you want? Because the four of pentacles is someone that refuses to let you go. I see that you're holding on to the past though. I think is you don't want to repeat and that's fair enough no one even i wouldn't want to repeat um, of this path this is not a nice feeling to have and that's your hope is that they're not going to do it again but your fear is they might do it again but they're still holding on to you for dear life and that knight of cups is all about apologies it's reconciliation it's well how can i you know win back scorpio's heart this definitely couldn't have been the case of the right person but the the wrong uh time right person wrong time Hmm. Let me clarify these cards for you. I want to get a bigger message here. I split the deck. We've got the four of pentacles. I think both of you may be holding on to each other without even realizing. This definitely couldn't have been also someone that you were working with, like an office romance for some of you. Not, not all of you, of course. Yep, there you are again. Whatever happened, whatever your person did, their choice led to this ending. And what that white rose there represents is reclaiming the innocence, the purity of this connection. Mm. Okay. So let's clarify these cards. And we'll get more messages here for you. Three more. Two more. And the last one for Scorpio, please. It's going to be a little bit tricky though. I mean, yeah, but we'll see. Not tricky for you, more for your person. Um, yeah, see, we've got the six um, of swords coming out twice. So it is pretty evident here that you've got no problem moving on, on your own. Even though, yes, it hurts and it sucks, but it's pretty clear that your person wants to move on with you. See, so leave behind all that choppy water, move into the lake of tranquility. Now, for some of you, this person may be at a certain distance from you as well. Um, that's also Aquarius energy. The thing is though, I feel like you've already said what you needed to say to this person, but these swords are pointing down in this particular deck and I feel like there still needs to be a lot more. That's why I kept hearing, I need to talk to you. We need to talk. You don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, that's what they're gonna be voicing is uh, their deep regret and how badly they hurt you because that is a five of cups and that's Scorpio energy. They wanna move away from this, this hurt, so they don't do it ever again to you. You're feeling very embarrassed, guilty, and ashamed. Uh -huh. And they were not being honest. Look at that. They could have given you a false start because the Ace of Cups is known as the true card of love, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, but with this card, yeah, well, they couldn't have been in I feel like they're in denial about their feelings. They try and push it down. I don't care about Scorpio, but clearly this person loves you very much. The water that's overfilling, you know, this chalice, you know, is there love and emotions here? It's over overflowing here for you. But I feel here this was a very false start as well yep they, they will be reaching out we've got the eight of wands sagittarius energy second fastest moving energy in the entire deck wow so yes we do know that these are quick rapid movement it's a sudden flurry of activity again it shows that this could be messages coming from interstate or overseas and I feel here they want to talk, absolutely. They want to talk about a brand new start, but also about how dishonest they were. Why were they dishonest? Was it because there was someone else in the picture? Maybe they were not ready, but they kept telling you they were ready. You know, they fell through with their promises um, or any wishes that, you know, they had for you. If they were not ready, Scorpio, regardless if there was a third party or not, and if they were not ready, they shouldn't have been honest, but this could be a, ver a series of very long conversations here as well. That's the thing, Scorpio. Um, you are known to be very loyal, but you know who to be loyal to. And it's very good to be picky as well. Um, so let's talk about the Queen of Pentacles. Whoop. Yep, is the Fool. Here they come in. The first card, unnumbered of the Major Arcana, ruled by Aries as well. Um, the Fool there also holds the White Rose. So it's all about, well, can we reclaim the innocence of this connection? Can we get to where we were in the beginning? And what they're not realizing is, no, we can't. We've got to actually, you know, pick up the pieces where we left off and make sure make it better than ever. So your person, I don't know if they're being very naive or they're just very um, courageous, maybe a bit of both sometimes we need it, but they're going to go for it. They're going to take that leap of faith. They want a brand new beginning with you and only you. Let's talk about the Hierophant. Yep, is the Hermit. 
Virgo energy, the wise sage. Okay, I, if your person here was in another relationship, I see that they've retreated here. In fact, I see both of you have actually retreated quite a lot. This is like hermit-like energy. But as you can see, the hermit here has learned pretty big lessons, a lot of big spiritual lessons on how not to treat Scorpio. <laughs> um, when, you know, supposedly here, you know, it says that they love you so much. They're casting light back into this situation, though. Mm, I, I'm not, I'm just seeing you keeping this person at an arm's length. And honestly, Scorpio, I think that's very smart of you. For now, until we get more messages, let's talk about you. Eight of Cups. Pisces energy. So this actually means two things. Now we know this often means either you walked away from this person or they walked away from you. So that's why it greatly impacted you. But the question is also, are you ready to leave the past behind? Because not only does it mean leaving people behind, it means leaving situation events that no longer serve you. Are you willing to let it die? I don't think the majority of you are ready to let the past go. And I don't blame you. Because if anything, they did put you through a lot of mental turmoil toward the end. Almost you were questioning yourself as well, or even your self-worth, and that's, that's not right. So take all the time you need. Let's talk about the three of pentacles. Yep, six of cups. That is you, that's Scorpio energy. In fact, there's a lot of Scorpio energy here as well. And I love the sixes because they're all about healing. Um, yeah, so clearly we are face-to-face -face meetings. We have blasts from the past. This is reconciliation because this is what's unseen. What's happening behind the scenes that you're not aware of yet. And clearly they're trying to work out some kind of meeting with you. Now, for some of you, there might be children involved already, regardless of age. We are seeing a very deep past life connection, but I can see that they're thinking about you quite a lot. They're very nostalgic, very melancholic. Their feelings are really catching up to them about you. But we are seeing it. They're going to go for it reconciliation i can see it already let's talk about you again the death card yeah more reconciliation we've got the four of wands even though that's aries energy this does again speak of commitment marriage it's the home it's the family it's a massive card of celebration here so it is a real shame about kind of like how things ended here which is why both of you are a lot more wiser so for example, let's say Scorpio, you wanted to give this person another chance in due time. You are both not starting from scratch. You're starting from wisdom and experience here. In other words, how not to treat Scorpio, how to approach relationships. And for you, Scorpio, it's almost like, well, now I've learned a lot. And you know what? It's like strike one and that's it. I like this. We've got very deep reconciliation where you feel like home. And I feel like this person really, really shot themselves in the foot. Like they got a big shotgun and they shot their ankles out. Boy, do they regret this. This is really catching up to them right now. Mm. And yeah, see, I just got another message. If your person, if there was a third party, if your person was with someone else, yeah, I feel like they always wanted you, but they stayed put because that's what was expected of them. That were, you know, people, some people, not you, Scorpio, but some other people are afraid to make changes, to create waves. So not excusing them at all though let's talk about the nine of swords again three of pentacles regret i think they shouldn't have said something they shouldn't have done something face to face and they didn't and i think it's like yeah i regret that i bailed out that i wasn't seeing scorpio eye to eye that i wasn't dishonest here you see the three of pentacles and this is actually really good for you to know here as well it does come with a lot of envy behind the scenes um, you know, some people, are just they just let it get the better of them. They couldn't have been envy towards you, not from your person, but from the people around them. And this is actually also a card of marriage. Traditionally, we see a couple getting married and there's a priest, you know, they're blessing them here as well. So I think they saw the potential. They could see it, but they didn't act upon it and they took the easy route out. What I love about your attitude is that you've got no problem to move on. It's like, listen, I'll take you back only if you come correctly or do not come back at all. I love your attitude though. Doesn't mean this hurts any less though. I mean, it's, it's a really crappy thing to go through, isn't it? But let's talk about that five of pentacles. Page of pentacles, Capricorn energy, could also be a Virgo or Taurus. Wow, this is the student card. So pretty much your person has learned a big lesson about what not to do to the person that they love. Show it more in actions, stay, invest in this. Page of pentacles we know is about messages. It's a small offering such as can we meet for a coffee or can we chat? Can we FaceTime if they're at a distance? 
but this is usually face to face. This person needs to see your face. I feel like that's the only way they can read you. And I'm hearing that there's something about, like if you raise your eyebrows, there's something about your eyes and that I think that's how they can read you as well. Because you can do really good poker face, you know what I mean? That's good. Let's talk about the Six of Swords in the near future. Yeah, is the Ten of Wands, Sagittarius Energy. Not gonna lie, this is a, probably the most stressful card in the entire deck. But what I love about this combination is that we get to drop these wands because a Six of Swords moves into very calm waters, away from the drama, the chaos, the arguments, any aggression or anything that, you know, if people wanted to challenge you to your face or people were against it, we get to drop these wands because we're approaching this now also from, like I said, from wisdom and from experience. Beautiful. Okay. Well, they are very stressed about this, the face-to-face -face communication. How are you going to receive them? Yes, they're very nervous about it. Not going to lie. Let's talk about the outcome. The Knight of Pentacles, a Virgo energy. Could be a Taurus or a Capricorn. That's my favorite knight, by the way. Followed by more Virgo energy. Than, uh, that is the Nine of Pentacles. They said one more and the Magician, Gemini, and coincidentally, Virgo energy again. All right. I think you're going to take this very slow. You see, this night always says take all the time you need. This is going to be a very slow moving um, connection here as well. With all these pentacles, yeah, a lot of you definitely have met through work studies or your finances. But what I really like here is that your person, they're planning something because fours are about planning for the future. They want to offer you something solid, something practical, something promising of value that makes you turn around. Like, you know, you look at it twice and you're like, say that again. <laughs> what did you want? <laughs> That Nine of Pentacles is my singles card here as well. I think here, take all the time you need. I know I've said that a lot. I think many of you won't probably want to move on on your own. Some of you will like to leave the past behind and create something new here. Manifest something new. Let's just get some, because I can, you know, for the collective, it's going, the feelings are going to be very different. Oops. Well, let's just do that again. There we are. The cards are spilling out. Let's get one card, please. Advice for Scorpio. There we go. That was the one. Yeah, see? Decisions. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do a decision based on your heart. The nine of cups, that's Pisces energy. I'll split the deck. Look at that. We've got the king and the queen of wands. Mm. I, I just knew it. This is a card of wish fulfillment, emotional contentment. Make that decision based on your heart, not what people expect um, or what you think people around you are pushing you to do. This is a time to make a decision from your heart because I see here you're on the fence. It's like, yes, do I take them back? Because I see here that some of you, the majority of you are single and you're just smashing it. You're independent, you're accomplished, and you're really focusing on your finances, your professional life. And then there's another part of you here that's like, well, what if I created something with this person? We could manifest a brand new beginning. Make a decision with your heart. Absolutely. This definitely could have been the case of the right person the wrong time. And in itself is a very big lesson. That's why we have the hermit there um, as well. But I'm going to tell you something. What are their actions? They are definitely coming back. They will be messaging you. And their intentions here is to seek forgiveness, but to also have that with the death card, which is you, that 2.0 version. This time, let's make it better than ever. Are they nervous about your reaction and your response? Yes, they are. But please, for you, it's based on your heart. What does your heart want with this person? Only you know that, Scorpio. Either way, it leads to a wish fulfillment. That's a beautiful card. You're one card away from the Ten of Cups, which is, you know, you're happily ever after. Scorpio, I'm going to see you in the next couple of days with a brand new reading, fresh new topic, different tarot decks. And I cannot wait to read for you again. Um, and for those that have not subscribed, I do invite you to subscribe so you never miss out on a reading here in Australia. I do your reading religiously here um, every Wednesday. And I thank you again for your time. Much love, Scorpio. Bye.